So what is sex determination? Sexuality is a unique feature in all eukaryotes from yeast to man. It confirms in them the innate uh, potentiality to reach above their genes through crossing over recombination independent assortment of chromosomes. So this provides a, a potential for variation in the organism. This is very important because it helps in genetic variability as well as the biology, increasing the biological diversity in living or in the living world. Now, how the sex of a newborn is determined was always a puzzle. What is sex determination? First of all, it's a method by which there is a distinction between the male and female is established in an organism under genetic control. The chromo This was later on understood after the discovery of the sex chromosome that sex chromosomes was uh, responsible for determination of the separate sexes. It's a biological system that determines the development of sexual characteristics in an organism. And the following symbols de designates a male and a female. Now, uh, sexuality is a unique feature of higher organism and uh, how the sex of an unborn is determined and controlled has always been a biological puzzle until the dawn of the last century. Earlier explanation about sex determination were mostly exaggerations. Even at the time of Aristotle, they, they preferred to uh, understand that uh, sex determination was purely environmental. So it was under the influence of external environment that sex determination took place rather than the role of chromosome because chromosomes and genes were not discovered at that time. The discovery of sex chromosomes by von Henking in 1891 in the insect Pyrochorus apteris enabled MacClung, Stevens, Wilson and Bridges to establish that sex is a hereditary trait governed by sex determining genes located in sex chromosome. It also became all the more clear that since the sex is a genetically controlled trait, it uh, actually follows the Mendelian uh, inheritance or pattern of inheritance like it undergoes segregation, independent assortment and recombination. Now, uh, sex chromosomes are not only the determinants of sex in an organism, which, uh, which was later on uh, further studies in the bees, wasps and ants. They, in their condition, ploidy was a state which determines the sex. Like haploid individuals will develop into males and females are uh, diploid. So, that was observed in insect. And uh, similarly, in the case of uh, in, uh, the crocodiles, chelonian mean turtle and tortoises, and in some uh, lizards, it geckos. Okay, uh, so in such cases, it was observed that the environment was playing a role in sex determination. And then in some organisms like the marine worms, gastropods, the sex was determined by the substrate stratum on which they land which we will see, in, see it in Bornelia. Okay, now the time of sex determination during ontogeny of an organism has also been a debated problem. Three speculations are advanced to explain it, namely pregamic, syngamic, okay, and epigamic theory. Pregamic theory, according to this theory, the sex of an organism is determined at the gametic level much before fertilization. And syngamic theory holds that sex is determined at the psychotic level at the time of fertilization. While epigamic theory states that sex is determined at the embryonic level after fertilization, cytological evidences are concordant only with syngamic theory. Now, coming to the uh, unicellular eukaryotes, they have very simple mechanisms of sex determination. The two alleles of a single gene determine the sex. But in multicellular organism, the strategy to produce male and female gametes are there. So, they will differ from the unicellular eukaryotes. In many plants and animal species, which are there are hermaphrodites, uh, 
they may be bisexual throughout their life and sometimes change from one sex to another so these are all uh, very interesting parts of sex determination now uh, in hermaphrodites the role of gene in sex determination appears to be less significant than in unisexual organism the genes can regulate the timing and extent of different sexual phases in most of the hermaphroditic in invertebrates in fish species like bass they can undergo sex reversal under hormonal and environmental in influence domestic fowls like uh, the hen are un uh, also seen to undergo spontaneous sex reversal under hormonal influence and uh, the environmentally determined sex in the case of alligators and turtles the temperature at which the eggs uh, that is incubated determines the sex now coming to the mechanism of sex determination the biological mechanism of sex determination is very similar in plants and animals several theories have advanced to explain the genetic mechanism of uh, uh, sex determination like um, the chromosome theory of sex determination the genetic balance theory then the single gene effect theory and environmental theory now what does the chromosome theory of sex determination say that is uh, sex is determined by specific genes located in the sex chromosomes now you know that there are we know that there are two kinds of chromosomes right so there is uh, autosomes and sex chromosomes autosomes carry autosomes carry those genes which uh, ca that is control the somatic characters or non sexual characters whereas sex chromosomes control sexual characters now uh, it is not the sex chromosome on its whole that controls or determines sex but the genes which are located in them now you know that there are two kinds of sex chromosomes x and y x chromosome is found in both sexes y is found only in one sex in mammals drosophila etc y chromosome is found in male in reptile bird insects it is found in female the male and female of a species differ from each other in their sex chromosome complement one of them will have a pair of x chromosome that is xx condition and the other will have x only one x chromosome in most cases the female is always having xx condition in reptiles birds male is having xx condition if there is a single x chromosome it will exist either as xy or x0 in x chromosome it is mostly formed of u chromatin that it carries many genes and it is genetically active y chromosome is normally heterochromatin it carries few active genes and hence is genetically less active or inert in most cases it plays only a dummy role in heredity practically without involvement in sex determination however in mammals axolotl larva you might have been familiar with that larva it is the larvae of amblystoma that is a salamander the tiger salamander so this type of uh, larva insect and other plants it plays an active role in determination of male sex chromosome theory of sex determination is essentially a theory of parental heterogamesis that is one parent will be heterogamous like xy or x0 the other one will be homogamous or xx in most cases male is heterogametic female is homogametic the female is heterogametic male is uh, in some cases female will be heterogametic and male will be homogametic now heterogametic female will uh, that is male will have alter x0 x xy condition and the homogametic parent will have xx condition now chromosome mechanism of sex determination is highly varied it falls under three main category 
that is female homogamous and male heterogamous then male heterogamous and female heterogamous then male haploidy female diploidy the common chromosomal mechanisms of sex determination are the following that is female homogamous and male heterogamous that is xx female x0 male mechanism xx female xy male mechanism xx female xy1 y2 male mechanism then there is uh, male homogamous and female heterogamous please excuse this uh, mistake of female male haploidy here and it is male homogamous and female heterogamous here the xx male and x0 female as the zz male or z0 will uh, better represent it as zz male and z0 female to avoid confusion xx male and xy female then z or it is also represented as zz male and zw female then there is male haploidy and female diploidy we will look into each and every uh, class separately